warm. Okay, hello. Hey, so Laura, the only time I think I've played Sims is at your house, but I do have a game that's very similar. It's made by the same people. It's like, it's called Age of the Empire, and it's like you have this country, you run a country, and you like prepare for battle, and you come up with like your own market and systems and everything. So it's like not raising a family, but it's raising a country. Amber, dude, what the hell? Apparently you forgot, so since I am still your number one creeper on Facebook, I will let this slide. <laughs> so the only class I have on Tuesdays is economics, and my teacher likes to get off on completely random tangents and just talk to the class about something like science related, or he tried to make an analogy between weather and economics and it just didn't work because what he was saying wasn't right. Anyway, besides that, today he went off on one of these long tangents and earlier today I remember Katie Christiana telling me that she decided to name all 50 states in her one class because she was really bored and then she named all the presidents too, I don't know how she did that. Or she didn't name them all, but she was close to. And I was just like, I'm just gonna write down all 50 states. And so I did it and I actually got all 50 states. So I was just wondering, I want you guys to like sit down a maximum time of 30 minutes because I only did this in the last 30 minutes of class or so and just sit there and try to name all the states because I just want to see if anyone else can do it because I think Katie said she got up to like 45 or something like that. She was really close but she didn't get all of them and I got all of them and I'll show you the list. Ready? It's kind of in the margin. You can see my notes. Actually, I still took notes because he put the notes on the overhead and I still copied them down. But I was naming states. Um, yeah, they're kind of like the abbreviations and um, they're not spelled right and I'm sure they're not the right abbreviations. But I'm okay with it because I know what they mean and I named all 50 states. Bam. So I'm just curious if you guys can name them, or at least name at least like 40 or up to a certain amount. Just tell me how many you can name. Laura, speaking of chem lab, um, <laughs> you know, I just have really, really bad luck with lab partners. My first lab partner from last semester, like, at first, the only reason I picked him was because we were all walking around the room trying to find lab partners, and this really creepy kid was like, he was looking right at me, and he's in my major. And he was walking towards me like he was going to ask me to be his lab partner and I was just like, oh shit. So I ran around the corner and I grabbed this one kid who was looking for a lab partner still. So we were lab partners and he didn't talk very much and I felt like he wanted to like blow us up because the first thing he said to me was just like, oh, we get to blow things up. And I'm just like, hmm, oh, this may have been a bad decision. But I went with it and it was fine and I lived, I'm alive, I'm in one piece and that's all that matters. This semester. Oh my god. I just have bad luck with lab partners. I keep getting the creepiest lab partners ever because we switch lab partners every week in that class because, I don't know, this, the teacher decided, hey, this is a good idea, let's just make them all switch. We switch lab partners and I always end up with the creepiest people. I just don't know why, but it's just... I just have bad luck. I need to pick a different major <laughs> because all I meet are creeps and then they follow me around, they annoy me, they talk to me all the time, and I can't take it anymore. And that's all I have for you guys this week, so I'll see you guys next Tuesday. Bye! How to cocoa. I'm on a chocolate binge.